Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video and today I have a very special video for you guys uh, This video is sponsored by boost plants. I uh, highly recommend you guys go check them out I'll put their Instagram tag in the comments below and uh, yeah So we're gonna be covering the dry start method today and uh, just lots of new plants coming up and I'm really excited for this Alright guys, so you just want to start off with a tank that is completely scaped, uh, substrate is down, uh, hardscape is in, and lighting and everything is already picked out. Alright guys, so I'm going to hop right in with removing this rock wall from the roots of the plant. Uh, you just want to take your time with this, you don't have to rush it, uh, you can dip it in some water that uh, helps soften the roots, but yeah, you just want to pull all of this off as much as you can get, and then you will be finished. So guys, I'm just going to repeat this process for all the other plants I got and then I'll catch you guys when I have these all laid out. Alright guys, so after you remove them, you just want to make sure that you keep the plants moist the entire time. And now we're just going to separate the plant up into little pieces and then plant it throughout the front of the tank since this is my carpeting plant. Alright guys, so these have really small roots so we're just going to kind of like lay it down in there. Um, you can kind of try to bury them but since this is just a carpeting plant, It'll probably just grow on by itself, so we're just going to kind of set it like that. Alright guys, so we're going to plant some of this Alternanta Renekai Mini. Uh, we're going to put it towards the back, just behind the Monte Carlo. And it's a red print, it's uh, really pretty. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for this one. Alright guys, so my plan is to try this new technique of basically taking the java moss and mincing it up into this cup, just chopping it up into a bunch of little pieces and then painting it onto the rocks. And um, yeah, this technique will really only work with the dry start method because It'll, it'll float in uh, regular. So we're gonna try this out. Okay, so I'm just getting some water to add to this so it'll turn to more like a paste. Then, then just, it's not just dry. I'm just gonna lay it onto these rocks that I sprayed down so they're uh, nice and white and sticky. Alright guys, so I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, some fertilizer, some liquid fertilizer into the water column and uh, this should just help it give it some more nutrients than the soil is already giving it and it'll have plenty of light and CO2. I'm also going to add some to the spray that I'll be spraying this every day with and um, I'm not sure if this actually works but we're going to see if it'll uh, show some good improvement. guys so we just use regular store brand saran wrap and saran wrap the top of the tank this is going to hold in a lot of the moisture keep it nice and humid in there because these are aquatic plants so they do uh, require that humid environment and yeah you do the dry start method guys and i'll uh, talk a little bit more about what it takes to do the dry start method and what you have to do every day all right guys and we do have this little little area here and this is just for air exchange because you definitely don't want it airtight yeah you're just trying to trap that humidity in there. Alright guys, so my daily routine with this tank is basically I just remove a section of the ceram wrap and then I take my spray and I just uh, spray down everything in the tank, uh, all the plants, all the moss, 
and uh, I try to do this every night and every morning. I feel like that works better than just once a day. And I was actually even having a hard time keeping it uh, humid enough just like that. So I added in a humidifier. Uh, this is just like a diffuser usually for like oils, but uh, I'm just using regular water in there. And I just give it a spray every day. And I've been running the lights uh, around 10 to 12 hours a day, which is quite high, but since you do not have any water in there, uh, you won't really experience algae issues and the uh, higher intensity of light the better usually especially during the dry start method because the plants can have unlimited co2 that they can grab from the air uh, that's why it is the big benefit of doing this it is equivalent to having a co2 diffuser in there uh, probably even better and they'll get really good growth uh, yeah so they got their nutrients they have their co2 they have highlight so they will grow extremely well with no algae so that's a huge plus to starting the dry start method another really big plus of the dry start method is that you can actually start your tank without even needing your filter or a co2 setup you just basically just need your tank scaped uh, have some good substrate in there uh, have your plants and a nice light and you can already start growing your carpet beforehand uh, I know during COVID-19 it's really hard to get out to the stores and get your CO2 canister refilled. So the dry side method right now is a really good option. Hey, what's going on guys? It's about a week later now in this video and I just added these Stargen Repins here in the back. Um, and we've been getting some really good growth. Uh, everything's growing in pretty nicely. And uh, yeah, if you can see some of the red plants have started growing new leaves. Uh, some of them are still like destroyed kind of like that one but they're all bouncing back pretty well and it's looking really good all right guys so that's the end of this video uh please drop a like down below if you liked it i'll leave a comment telling me whether you want to see more update videos on this tank and i'll catch you guys in the next one